Good morning, Calgary. A beautiful Thursday morning. This is Breakfast Television. We are coast to coast in this country. My name is Hitzik Saro. It is great to see you today. Sobeys Inc. has been named the first ever official grocer of Team Canada. And joining us today to tell us all about that initiative and her journey to the Tokyo Olympics, fingers crossed this summer, is two-time Olympian and the first Canadian gymnast to win a world all-around silver medal, Ellie Black. Ellie, that's worth some applause. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thanks for having me. That's a, still a huge accomplishment to say. Um, let's talk about uh, your prep as a two-time Olympian, your journey towards the Games this summer. How's the prep been going for you? The prep has going, been going really well. I mean, we're making the most out of the year and the situation we're in, but the most important is that the goal and the process still stays the same. Uh, we're working as hard as we possibly can as a team to be ready for Tokyo. All right, Ellie, let's, uh, let's talk about what Sobeys is doing here, specifically with the Feed the Dream campaign. What does it mean to athletes like yourself to have them involved like this? It's just incredible to be a part of this campaign and for Sobeys um, and the Feed the Dream campaign to be supporting Canadian athletes. Um, you know, it, it's difficult for athletes. We re really rely on uh, community funding and support um, to, to reach our dreams and our goals. So Sobeys is able to support the athletes, and they're actually going to be donating $1 million in grocery cards to um, all the qualified uh, athletes that are going to Tokyo. So it's going to be split between all of those athletes. And that's really going to help with the preparations and making sure that we have the proper nutrition we need. Um, athletes have such a busy lifestyle, and we're not always able to afford um, the proper nutrition for our training to be at our best. So this is really going to take a weight off our shoulders. And I think it really does show their commitment to athletes' needs and sporting communities from coast to coast and, you know, their commitment to food, family, and sport. Um, so how can Canadians, Ellie, get involved in this? Uh, apparently the Team Canada Tablecloth Initiative is happening here where, where you can get messages from fans across the country. And we hear some of the messages may even be selected and stitched onto it for athletes to see. Walk us through what's going on there. Yeah, so this year the Olympics looks different. Uh, we're not going to have spectators in Tokyo. So we really do need that support from our Canadian team back home. And that means that you can go online to social media and use the hashtag feed the dream and hashtag your words. Um, you can also go online to feedthedream.ca. And this is where you just need to put inspirational, motivational messages out there. And they're going to choose, uh, you know, over 1,200 messages that are going to be stitched on this tablecloth. And that's going to come to Tokyo and that's going to be there for the athletes. And we're going to be able to see all those messages from home. So having our Canadians support us from afar and having that in Tokyo with us is just going to be so special since the games are going to look so different and we're going to have that, um, you know, connection a little bit farther away than we normally do. Ellie, uh, I hope you don't mind me making a, a, a brief editorial comment as we wrap up here. Ellie and, and, and Olympians like her across this country are incredible, incredible young people. They, they do this because they love it. They, they do this because they are competitive. They want to represent their country. And whenever the private sector can get involved and at any level, I think it's a very important thing in this country to support Ellie and Olympians like her. So that's not really a question, Ellie. I just wanted to get that in and remind people that this is a tremendous initiative and it's a great thing that Sobeys is doing. Ellie, we're going to be rooting. All the best to you in the training and, uh, and look forward to seeing you at the Games very soon. Take care. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks again to uh, Ellie Black for joining us. Again, the Federal Minister of Transportation, Omar Algabra, will be joining Melanie Ng coming up a little later on here on Breakfast Television. So we started to think about travel plans here for Canadians. I know it doesn't seem like we're close yet, but you never know. You sound off question today is what are your post-COVID travel plans? 1-866-267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. Twitter 24-7 at Breakfast TV. Again, a little later on, you sound off here on Breakfast Television. Oh, the alligator video is next. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. It's not a lizard. It's an alligator. No, we'll debate that.